Hello everyone and welcome back for a new episode of Let's Play Our Adventure Guild on Iron Man Above Very Hard Difficulty. This is no name and we are about to do the second disciple story quest to locate the witch, but first we apparently have to talk to Nora. Who has something to tell us? Nice story there. Well, nice. You get my point. Ah, interesting. Help farmers once again. I have 10 days to do so. It would be nice to send some of my 80 members on this one. Hmm. Let's see. Story quest. I have two disciple to do. Wandering swordman could be done as well. Okay, Leon, Kiera, and Alejandro, I've done them many times, many times, those assignments to help farmers.
right. Alejandro needs HP, even though in the back he is in the back, he is a bit low on HP. So Kira needs HP. She needs SP as well because she is sucking it like crazy. You are fine on HP and SP, so I could use you as well. But you're fine as well with your potions. Hmm. So I'm gonna send Kira and Alejandro, who's the third to benefit from this assignment? Could it be Leon once again? It won't be Ilan. Ilan won't, doesn't need that. Could it be Finian? Okay, so I'm gonna send Kiara Alejandro. I'm hesitating between Finian and Leon. Okay, let's send Leon once again. Let's do this. All right, which means I have to rework my teams. I need to remove you, you, and you. And put you, you, and you. And I need to put you, you, and you here. Actually, let's, let's keep you in the right order. You as a boss. And now the question becomes do I tackle the six star story quest or not with this mixed team? Uh -huh. With the goblins. All right. I will do the Wandering Sword Man first, because I don't remember it to be a very difficult fight. So, our B team members, now the A team might level up a little. And then we will do the second and third disable. Alright, let's go. All right. 
it. You don't need that anymore. You... Well, actually, it's still a good item for you. Yeah, let's keep this on you. Okay, can't take any food. So let's go. And let's meet Bai's friend. So the adventurers and Bai finally found the sword man they were looking for. Upon spotting the man, Bai displayed an unusual expression, a troubled one. The sword man was a man with long black hair wearing a simple white mask covering part of his face. His appearance and attire bore a resemblance to Bai. And the adventurers wondered if there was any connection between the two. Ah, oh, it's you. Bai said, her tone ting with annoyance. I got excited for nothing. Bye, 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 the man began, adopting a theatrical demeanor. How could you just leave the village, the village without telling me? You're breaking my heart. He quit wide, dramatically clutching his chest. I was afraid I would never see you again, but luckily for me, I knew exactly how to catch your attention. So... We know that they know each other. What do you want, Shen? Bai inquired. You know what I want? Fight me. However, in stark contrast to Chen, who had readied himself for a fight, Bai simply stood there apathetically. apathetically. Then, to the surprise of the adventurer, she gave an unexpected answer. No. But I want to fight you. Blah, blah, blah. And Bai says, if you, why you, wants me defeated, you should do, he do, should do it himself. Doesn't matter whether you or I defeat you. It's the same thing. I never realized that pronouncing, pronouncing this out loud might sound weird. <laughs> it's not Bai retorted, growing increasingly irritated. Just take off the damn mask. The adventurers could not quite follow the conversation anymore. Who was this you? And why did he want to see by the fitting? So, they argue a little, and Bai says, okay, you won't fight me, but you will fight them. Pointing at us, the adventurers. And the swordman says, all right, let's do a little warm up. And the idea is that you will understand later is that you and Shen are the same person, which is a swordman depending on if he has his mask on or off. And Bai wants him to remove his mask before they fight, which is which he refuses. And once you know that, it makes a lot of more sense what's written there. But we'll see that later. So there are a few disciples there. Two counters, they can move forward and strike me. They do true damage, they have high dodge. Freedom of movement if they want to, okay. So I need to strike them first before they strike me, apparently. And I'm not even sure that physical resistance will be... Yeah. It is interesting because not all of them do true damage necessarily, so... Uh, 
Do I let them come forward and strike me first or not? Okay, what can you do? You can get plus two movement and do this. Problem is going there might trigger some many chain. Okay, let's do this. Likely to finish this guy, but I'm not guaranteed, so... Let's do this first, alright. Let's do this second. Oh, crazed, alright. And let's finish this, probably. Alright. So you got injured, but you got your HP back immediately. And I should have done this first. But I wouldn't have changed that much. But still. So, Elon. Let's sit you back there. Can you go? No, you can't. So... Shit. Alright. Alright, fight is over. So the adventurers had managed to defeat the swarm, and leaving him on his knees, shocked and defeated. Impossible, how could I lose? Shen muttered in disbelief. By him, invite appeared proud of the adventurer's victory. Of course you'll lose. I'm one of their trainers after all. She started laughing, clearly amused by the turn of events. Now you better let us go or I'll have them beat up you some more. Fine, I'll let you go. However, I will come with you, he said enthusiastically, bouncing back on his feet as if the recent fight had never happened. What? By exclaimed, Clary caught off guard by the stone of event. Did you really think I would give up so easily, my dear? Shen asked theatrically. Theatrically? I may have lost the battle, but not the war. And yeah. They keep arguing. And finally, Shen or you comes back with us to the guild. So Alice and Daryl got a promotion.
So the Rising Sun Fist style, the techniques of the Azure Blade style is much harder to master. Rising Sun Fist. So Misasa is unavailable for under never mind because she's healing. Okay, Nikki Well Ava fill in Nikki Well Ava fill in Zachary. Oh that's a bad that's a bad thing. A lot of bad events, a lot of poor relationships. Hope that won't uh, bring too much damage. So assignment. Time off is back and disciple of the Azure Blade. So what I need is only dexterity. So at least I'll need at least 21 and at most I can guarantee the transition once I'm at 30. And let's see, for instance, double. So this is... Okay, so basically this guy is like a monk with a very high dodge. Actually not so much. Okay, I might see if I put this on Darrow later. My only issue with this guy is that he has only a light armor. 
Yes, very good mobility. Nice AoE physical damage. But I'm not sure I can use him due to him relying on dodge with my difficulty settings. Well, we will see. Alright, so Finian is actually only injured for one day, which is perfectly something I can deal with. Elan can turn level 20 now. And he will. Let's take the book from you. Let's give it to Alyssa first. Okay, I'm gonna reward just to try to get the plus three here. Too bad. But I got plus one here instead. That's okay. Daryl. So the main idea here is that I want you to have strength, dexterity, and a bit of everything else if possible. Well, I'm gonna keep this. Plus two here is really nice. Plus one in endurance is still nice. I wish I had a plus two here, but the rest is is good so and plus two here yeah has more importance so so you won't level up because I want you to turn into a witch first same for you for the beast master and you uh, sorry I need the book of you to be given to you Okay, it's a shame that once again you only get plus one here. Very good that you get plus three here. Plus two is also very nice. But you got the minimum uh, improvement over there. Hmm. Tough decision there. I think I'm going to reroll. I hope I will keep the plus three here. I have oh well, that's average fifty percent, let's say. But I wish I had something else there because all the rest is the most the minimum I could get. Apart from here, the plus two is nice, although not absolutely necessary. So I'll try to reroll and get maybe plus two here, plus two here, and plus two, plus three here. Let's see. Okay, that is better, I assume. Better for my MAB and better for both PAB and MAB because I rely on willpower as a paladin, so... Alright. So titles can be improved. Who is exactly? Amber Mage. And you can become... Princess of Fire. Improve title. Hmm. 
And so Bai wants to talk to us. That's a really strange story, but in my opinion, very well written. So, new assignments. Okay, a new troll is back. Uh, so... Let's send someone from the city team to... See what's... Going on. I could actually just train someone to reduce the SP cost of physical skills. Even though I do not apply the Blade Master class to someone, I could use it on him so that it reduces your SP drain. That's a possibility. Uh -huh. Alright, new skills. So Ilan has two. So I am definitely gonna take this one. Plus 15 dodge, plus 10 accuracy, plus 20% initiative for everyone. It's really nice. And I mentioned the fact that I would like to take this one. Or this one. Hmm. Let's see, let's take this first. We will see where this leads us. Alisa has one more, and I am going to give a more penetration. Wait, how much penetration does she get from the Princess of Fire? Plus 30. Alright, I'm still gonna go give you plus 20 extra. So I will net you 70 fire penetration. So just in case the guy would be 
quite resistant to fire, you still can do max damage, which is nice. Alright, let's do the second disciple quest. Alright, I'll do this in the next video, I'll just uh, leave it there. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed and see you soon for the next story quest. Cheers guys!